Hey guys, welcome to another video from me, Stephen Hamilton, and today I'm gonna to show you guys at home how I find deals on Rightmove. I'm gonna show you what I look for, and at the end of the video, I might even show you how I speak to an estate agent, depending on how finding a deal goes. So, first things first, I open up Rightmove, and this is the first page that you guys will see. Where it says search for properties for sale and to rent in the UK, I will search an area that I'm familiar with. So Blackpool is always a good one for me. And we click the for sale. And then we have the box open at the top. I will do this area only, we'll stick to that. Property type, houses, price range. Now I always look for 60,000 up to around 200,000. And then we click find properties. Then obviously the screen appears and if you can see here, it says highest price. Me, I always go to oldest listed first. That was pre-COVID, I would always go to oldest listed first. Now with the market, it's so crazy at the moment. I always go to newest listed because as soon as a property comes up for sale at the moment, there's 20, 30 viewings booked within 24 hours of this hitting right move. So here we are, we're on the page now and we start looking down and the first one that comes up obviously is this one, South King Street Blackpool. I have a great knowledge of Blackpool by the way guys, so I know what I'm looking for around these areas. We go down and we have a look around, see what we can see. Um, obviously this person wanted to get their Range Rover in on the drive. Don't know what reason for. So this one here stands out to me. Um, I'll tell you guys why in a minute. I'm just gonna have a look through the photos and see what I think. Okay, after looking through the photos, it doesn't stand out to me anymore. One of the reasons it doesn't stand out to me is because of that kitchen there, if you can see it. I'll pull it up on the screen for you guys. So, the kitchen looks fairly new. So for me, kitchens and bathrooms, anything I can add value to is the first thing I try and look for. So we'll go back to search results and we will keep looking down. Um, I also try and keep away from modern uh, method of auction as well, guys. Um, so this one here, if I open it up, um, it might be through a company called I Am Sold. If you look into the description, read more. It doesn't say. Um, reason I try and keep away from um, method of modern auction is because of the fees. The fees including now are crazy, but that's for a whole nother video. So we're back again onto the main page, looking through it. Now this one, I know the area, Bispam, quite well. It's quite a, a nice area in Blackpool. Um, again, this one, it looks too too well done to have any any value added to, to it. We'll look at this one on Chester Road. Okay, now this one looks like it has potential. So it's a two bedroom and terrace. We'll have a look at the pictures. Wow. We have a video which we'll play in a second. There you go, so as I said, I look at kitchens, I can add value to that kitchen, definitely. Yeah, definitely can add value to this house, but now we need to check whether the house is overpriced. Bathroom, again, I can add value to that. So, I know Reeds and Rains as well. Um, I think we've purchased quite a few properties from these. It was added on the 13th of August. Today's date is the 16th, so it was three days ago. We'll look at the floor pan to see if we can do anything to it. Okay, so there's no way we can add a, another bedroom. There's, no, there's nothing I can see there that could add any value to it. So I'm not completely convinced on that one guys, so I'm not going to I'm not gonna carry on searching through and, and finding out what the end value is on it. We'll keep going down. 
Remember guys, this is completely live, so I have no idea what's what's available at the moment. Okay, so this one, this is FY1, so this is central Blackpool. So if we look on the map, um, if I open the map for you guys, you can see um, there's North Shore, South Shore, so this is central Blackpool. I usually avoid central for rentals but for flipping a house um, if the numbers add up I would definitely be interested in it so let's take a look at the photos yep definitely can do something with this house so let's try and figure out what an end value would be on this property so South King Street, Blackpool. So if we, if we go down and we click market information, we'll, we can see what's under offer, if there's anything under offer in that area. Okay, so South King Street, Blackpool, under offer, 110,000. We can click that open. Okay, that looks like it's done to an okay standard. Inside's nice, but it's not great. So, okay, so I'm looking at this one now and I'm gonna go back to the one I found. And the one I found obviously was this one. This is a four bedroom. The one I just looked at um, was also a four bedroom. Just double checking that. Yeah, so this is up for 110,000 and to me, this is not great. And the reason I'm gonna say it's not great is because um, they've left the chimney breast in that room, which I would knock all the chimney breasts out in the house. The kitchen's not a modern kitchen. I'd make, I'd make the kitchen a lot more fresh, a lot more modern. Again, the bathroom's okay, but it's not to a great standard. The utility room is not to a great standard. Carpets and walls. Bathroom again is very basic. And the outside, it looks good, but it's not great. It's not white render. The From what I can see on this photo, yeah, it could, it could be a hell of a lot better, but it's up for 110. Um, I don't know what, it's, what the offer is, but I will find out. I will make a phone call to find out. And this is in, offers in excess of 80,000 now. Pre-COVID guys, I would have said, oh, we'll make an offer of about 70,000, maybe 65, get the ball rolling. But in today's market, that's not possible. Everyone is bidding on the properties. So my advice is you can see that this is Purple Bricks. Now, Purple Bricks offer two services. They offer a straightforward, we will market your property. And then when the viewings come, the vendor does the viewings themselves. The second thing they offer is, if you pay an extra fee, they will provide somebody to do the viewings with you or for you. Now, from my experience, people who use Purple Bricks are there to save money. So they do the viewings themselves. So there's a very, very good chance that I will get to meet the vendor when I view this property. Now to me, that already gives me an advantage because I'm speaking to the person who's making the decision so I can have a conversation about what figure do you want? Have you had any offers? How fast do you want the money? Certain things that gives me an idea of what I can offer straight away on the day. Now, this house to me looks like it has all the evidence of a probate house. Now, a probate house is when somebody has passed away and it goes to probate. Now, that's experience. Also, it could mean that someone has maybe can't look after themselves anymore and have gone into a care home. So that also could be true because of what I'm seeing. And that's because of how old the house is, the carpets in the living room, um, certain things in the house that I've spotted and that is through experience. So I'm now going to show you guys how I would get to the end value of this. So I've just showed you this one up for 110,000 and it's under offer. Now, again, from my experience with the market in today's, t 
today's market, sorry, I wouldn't be surprised if that's gone over the asking price. Um, as anybody who's watching this video who has actually bought a house in the last 12 months, everything seems to be going over the asking price. So let's base it that this is sold at £110,000. This one here offers in excess of £80,000. Now, I now need to figure out what the renovation is going to cost me just by looking at the photos before I view the property in person. So if we go back to the original picture, which is that. Now, to me, looking at that photo, I need to knock the chimney breast out, plasterboard the ceiling, put some spotlights in there. I'm presuming that the whole place is gonna need a rewire, painted up, carpet. I don't think it needs um, full, a full plaster, but again, until I see it in person, I can only make my judgments on these photos. Bathroom, completely needs modernizing. Whole new bathroom, um, that's a four piece bathroom. So it's a shower, it's the bath, it's the toilet, it's the sink. That needs a complete replacement. Bedrooms, I can see the ceilings again and carpets and general cosmetics, taking out some wardrobes that are in there. From that as well, chimney breast knocking out. Um, carpets. Now the reason I'm saying chimney breast knocking out is that's because the house that has just been um, put under offer at 110,000 had the chimney breast in there. So if I knock the chimney breast out there, automatically my house will, should be valued at more because it's more spacious than the one that is valued at 110, which wasn't done to a great standard as well, like I said. Yeah, you can all see clearly what needs changing in there. Ceilings, um, it's very, very dated. So it's just modernizing really. Electrics, you can see the you can see the roof in, in the kitchen needs doing, plasterboard in. So yeah, I, I've got a really good idea of what I need to spend in this house. And the budget that I would allow for this is around this is me working it out as well, roughly guys, from right move. I would say twenty thousand is probably what I need to spend. So if we secure this property at 80,000 and we spend 20,000 on it, that takes it to 100. With stamp and legals, it takes it to around 105,000 spend. Now we've just seen one, this one here, which is under offer at 110,000 pound. So me, I would estimate the end value of the one that I have just looked at. Um, at around 120 because I know I'm going to do better than that and it's a four bedroom. So if we say that I do get the end valuation to around 120,000, there's about 15,000 pound profit in this house. Now in today's market guys, anybody watching this video will know how hard it is to find a deal on right move in a saturated area for buyers to make any kind of money. So I've done this live today to show you guys that if you do search and you do know what you're looking for, you can find certain deals with profit in them. I'm going back again because I'm, I'm actually considering buying this house. I'm gonna make a phone call to the agents and I'm gonna do a viewing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to film the viewing, film the house, come back here, go and do another video for you guys to show you what I found when I got there and potentially put an offering on this house if the numbers stack up still once I've seen it in person. Again, for anybody that's deal sourcing, if you do something like this, which I've just done in front of you, make sure that you guys go and view the property. It's very, very important. You can't see the roof. Um, you can't get a close up of the windows and the doors and certain things if there's any damp in there. Um, estate agents don't take certain pictures of certain things. So you do need to view these things in person. So also just checking if I go back onto this, if we go to market information again and put sold. So there's nothing there. So if I open up a new tab and I type in house sold, um, sorry, what was it? South King Street, South King Street, Blackpool. 
highest prices on right move will come up and there we go so a three bed terrace sold for fifty thousand pound in 2019 a three bed terrace sold for eighty eight thousand in 2018 if we have a look at these oh, you can clearly see that the one that we're about to view is is a lot better than this so yeah we'll go off that so you can see you can see the prices so the fifty thousand pound one i'm just gonna i'm just gonna pull that back up so you guys can just have another look at that so this one sold for fifty thousand pound it had no historical records it sold yeah it's not it's not the greatest house it's a it's a three bedroom now the price that you guys saw this at on here where it said it sold for 50,000 there 50,000 pound in 2019 when you click it it shows here that it sold again 3rd of March 2021 for 80,000 so this to me again with knowledge says this was bought at auction so even though it says 50,000 was the price of the house there'll be auction fees there'll be disbursement fees disbursement fees at auctions can be anything from 4,000 to 15,000 pound so don't always take for granted the price that's paid do a little bit of research in 2019 50,000 pound you can ask the question you can speak to people um, I'm convinced that that was sold at auction for that price so again I'm basing the whole of this what my end value based on this one that is under offer that was up for £110,000 now I know if I do mine the one that I'm potentially thinking of buying to a better standard than that automatically it's going to get marketed at a higher price that's common sense guys so that's how I have based this this finding I'm looking over it again just to make sure I haven't missed anything. I want to make sure it says freehold, which it does right there. It says freehold, guys. Um, quick read through the description. Yeah, everything seems okay there. So I'm quite happy with this house. I um, I think it's a good house. I would definitely, definitely look at, at, at viewing this house, which I'm going to. I'm going to make a phone call in a second and see if I can book a viewing. Um, but guys, I've literally sat down live, found a house, talked you through it, showed you what I look for, showed you how I've done a comparable, which was quite easy to be fair, the comparable was. Um, sometimes it can be a little bit more difficult than that. And I've showed you what I think the renovation cost will be. And I've also explained to you how I found the profit at £15,000. Now in today's market, the profit of £15,000 could be a lot higher because like I said, there is so many people bidding for houses against each other that the prices are just going through the roof. And I'm hoping that speaking directly to the vendor of this property gives me an edge. And the edge that I want, again, like I said previously, is to know the vendor situation has the house been handed to them from probate? Do they need the money? Do they have any cash offers on the table? Do they have people who want to buy on a mortgage and they have to wait like three, four, five, six months to complete? All these things will give me a really good understanding of how to move if I want to buy this property. Do I need to buy cash? Do I, do I have the option of buying it on, a, on a, a mortgage where it take a little bit longer, but it'll save me from putting all this money out up front? For £15,000 profit, this is a great house. For a buy, refurbish, refinance, it's still a great house. Um, and I will go through all that in the second video once I've done the viewing and gone through everything with it. Um, just double checking to make sure, again, that I've not missed anything. Okay. I don't think I have. Next thing I would always advise anybody at home to do is street view. Just take a look around at the street. You can kind of get a, an idea of the houses. Obviously, to me, unless I'm missing something, that one 
can't get directly outside it. It's got two lamps on either side of the door. Yep, so there's a lamp there, there's a lamp there. On Street View, oh, where's Street View? Sorry, there you go. On Street View, you can see that lamp and that lamp. So that is the house that's under offer um, with an asking price of £110,000. And then if you look down, there's some construction work going on. I don't know when this was. I don't know how old this is, but they look like they're in very good condition. They look like identical houses as well, so I wouldn't be surprised if an investor's bought both of them because you can you can see they're very similar and the work's being done at the same time. Um, again, street looks decent. That looks fairly new. So obviously there's been improvements made to the street. Go back up on this side. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like a doctor's or something. Um, again, that could be quite good. If that is a doctor's, which I'm not sure what it is, it could be, yep, it's got some NHS sign. Okay, so that could be really good because that could be used for a HMO. This house could be used for a HMO potentially. Um, so it'd be really good. So what I will do when I go and do the viewing, I will go into that to that building and find out what they do. Do they have on-call doctors or what is the situation? Do they look at renting anything around there? Could we do something if, um, if I buy a property on the street to give them to, to use for accommodation? Um, these things are little tips that I would advise anybody to do. Again, guys, it's, it's not rocket science, it is common sense. I've gone on Google Street View, I saw there's something to do with uh, a potential surgery, doctor surgery, and just by me thinking about it, walking in there on the day that I view this property, just to ask the question. Whether they say give us an answer or whether they don't give us an answer, it could lead to something that's, that's quite positive. And for a four bedroom HMO in this area, it could be quite lucrative as well. So, yeah, I'm very happy with what I found. So guys, I have booked the viewing for Tuesday the 24th of August at 1.30. Um, it was done online as Purple Bricks is only online. You can't make a call to them. And I've been allocated an agent. So my me being hopeful of meeting the vendor doesn't look like it's going to happen. But you never know. He might or she might be there. Um, but like I said, they have allocated an agent. So we'll see how it goes. Um, this is going to be like a little mini series, a mini documentary. So you have saw how I found the property on Rightmove. The next video, which will be about 10 days after you guys see this, will show you how I go to the property, how I speak to the agent or the vendor, hopefully. Filming the whole house so you guys can see when I come back in here and how I break down the renovations to get to the end value. And then you never know, a third video might be me buying the house and renovating it you never know but let's see what happens so guys hope you enjoyed today's video and stick around because there's plenty more like this to come thank you